Hey guys, just wanted to highlight some of the things everybody's been talking about on the bouncing issue for the OEM projectors. Now, as you can see, this shield actually flips forward when it goes into high beam mode, which to me is a poor design. In a truck or any type of off-road vehicle, there's going to be a lot of bumps you'll be going over and whatnot, but even any vehicle, this just doesn't accept me. I mean, I'm, I'm barely tapping on this, and you can see the movement, and every little movement is magnified by that lens. So I think part of the problem is the spring inside here. The tension on it isn't enough to push it back in place tight. I mean, the play on this is pretty sloppy. The, the pivot point could be a little tighter. Um, it's just uh, overall bad design, and it's not Ford's fault. So, one thing to check, make sure your bulb is tight, those two screws. Tighten them up, make sure the bulb doesn't wiggle at all. It should be solid on there. And if not, and if, it, if it is, the uh, shield would be the suspect. Also, check your uh, mounting bolt points. Make sure they're all tight and the clips are pushed into place. So Now, onto the upgraded version, the Evo XR. Um, Hella has always had good luck with these scissor type actuators. I mean, they, they basically drop down instead of push forward like the OEMs do. So, and I've never had a problem with the Hella bouncing like everybody's been saying. And as you can see, this solenoid tension is a lot stronger. I mean, I gotta, I'm almost moving the whole light when I'm pushing this in. Spring tension is a little bit better, it keeps it in place. So, just figured I'd highlight everything for everyone that doesn't really know what us HID guys are talking about. So, hopefully, you guys get a grasp on what we're trying to say and why upgrading is probably a good deal if you're going to be able, if you're going to be taking the headlights apart, anyways. So, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, just give me a PM.